Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Ironworker Gaming Channel. I am Ironworker814, and thank you for joining me for another Destiny 2 PvP viewer requested weapon review, where we take a look at pros, cons, stats, damage numbers, and how to obtain the weapon. And a real cool question to start things off here. Do you recognize this sound? Yes, to a non-Destiny player, this simply sounds like the crack of a whip. But if you're in a Crucible match and you hear that sound coming from an enemy player, your first thought probably is, oh dear lord, I hope they don't know how to use that thing. Because to Guardians like us, that is not a simple whip crack. It is the unmistakable sound of the chaperone being loaded and ready to go. Which just so happens to be the weapon that we're taking a look at today. This review was requested by Cyber, Bubblemane, and Lemonhead420. And as always, if you find this weapon review useful, helpful, or enjoyable, give that thumbs up button a tap and consider subscribing to the Ironworker Gaming Channel to see more videos similar to this one. Now I just want to point out real quick that while this review does focus on crucible usage of the chaperone, slug shotguns in general did get a 30% damage buff in PvE activities. Fellow content creator and friend Jboy did put a very nice PvE review of the chaperone together just a couple of weeks ago. I'll link that video in the description and definitely go check it out when we're all wrapped up here and show my buddy a little bit of support. But back on topic, the chaperone in the hands of a highly skilled player is one of the scariest things that you're going to come up against in the Crucible. This gun has all of the tools to ruin your day if you're unfortunate enough to come up against somebody who really knows how to handle it. And when I say someone who really knows how to handle it, I am definitely, absolutely, positively not referring to myself. The chaperone and all other slug shotguns are not weapons that I would consider easy to use in PvP. There is a definite skill gap between those who can use them well and those who cannot. And me, personally, I fall into the latter of those two categories. Pinpoint precision at close range is not my strength. As a matter of fact, this was supposed to be a first in last out review. But I decided to move Chaperone up the list and replace that one as to only torment myself with one slug shotgun instead of two. There were times during live testing when I was really rolling along pretty well with Chaperone. They were few and far between, but they still were there. So we'll take a good hard look at the Chaperone in this review and see what it's capable of in the Crucible, right after we take a look at how to obtain this weapon for those who have not done so already. The Chaperone was originally a Destiny 1 exotic that returned to Destiny 2 with the Forsaken expansion. To begin the acquisition process, you must first get the Holiday Family History Quest, which can randomly drop from any of the game's core activities. I was originally under the impression that it would only drop post-Crucible match, but I was wrong. And once it drops for you, visit Amanda Holiday in the Tower Hangar and pick up the Crucible Tournament Quest. For Step 1, you'll need 20 shotgun kills in the Crucible. For Step 2, you'll need to get Void, Arc, and Solar kills in the Crucible. Each bar is represented by a percentage, and deaths will hinder your progress. But once the progress on a specific element reaches 100%, you can no longer lose progress in that category. The last step is to head into Gambit and get 15 Guardian kills, before returning to Amanda Holiday to claim your chaperone. The Chaperone is an exotic kinetic precision frame slug shotgun shooting at 70 rounds per minute with 6 rounds in the magazine. As far as stats go, the range is maxed out, handling is very respectable, and the reload speed is on the slower side. Checking in with white.gg for the hidden stats, we can see we have an aim assist value of 70 which, for all intents and purposes, is the only thing I really care about here. The intrinsic trait is Precision Slug, where this gun fires a single slug precision round. So no shot pattern or pellet spread out of this one, just a single projectile. And things get interesting when we take a look at the Roadborne Exotic Perk. Precision kills briefly grant bonus handling, range, and precision damage with this weapon. This has a 10 second duration. Looking at the usage rate of Chaperone on Destiny Tracker, we can see that it's getting a good amount of play in the Crucible currently. It's sitting at 0.85%, ranking at number 24 on most used Crucible guns over the past month. For the damage number, Chaperone will do 264 points of damage on a critical hit, and 151 points of damage to the body, making the optimal time to kill obviously instantaneous, and the body shot time to kill will come in at 0.87 seconds, requiring two shots landed. For the range, at base, Chaperone will see damage fall off past the 12 meter mark, but can still secure a one hit kill from up to 13 meters away. Past that, your crit is no longer lethal. When the Roadborne perk is active, the body shot damage will remain the same, but the critical hit damage will jump to 323 points of damage per shot. Also, the optimal range will increase to 13 meters before you're going to see any damage fall off with the one-hit kill range moving out to about 15 meters. 
Once we move back to 16 meters, once again, that critical hit is no longer lethal. When using Chaperone against Supers, at base, it can down a player with 4 Resilience or less with 1 crit and 1 body. 2 crits will be required for any Resilience level above 4. Even with the Roadborn perk active, there is not enough of a damage increase to secure a 1 hit kill on a Super, but you can go 1 crit and 1 body on a Guardian of any Resilience level. And hopefully that pretty much covers everything we need to cover here, so let's head into the pros and see what Chaperone can do well inside of the Crucible. The biggest appeal for me when it comes to using Chaperone is the ability to outright drop standard shotgunners from outside of their effective range. And really, the range of Chaperone is enough to take any enemy guardian by surprise. Also, on a precision kill, when Roadborne activates, it's helping you in a few more ways than it may appear to on the surface. Yes, the effective range and your precision damage output both increase, but the boost to handling also improves your reload speed, your ADS speed, and your swap speed, which is really nice if you need to clean up a kill on an enemy that has just worked their way out of your effective range. But also, the fire rate will actually slightly increase, bringing your body shot time to kill down just a touch. Next, that very friendly aim assist value of 70 really makes a big difference. Compared to other slug shotguns, this really feels like it improves the critical hitbox of the chaperone. Most slug shotguns have an aim assist value that hangs right in the mid-30s, with the exception being Blasphemer coming in at 61. But the point I'm trying to make here is that Chaperone does feel much more forgiving. Most of the time you don't need that red dot directly on your target's face. Right next to the head will work in many cases. Which is no doubt a reason many players are choosing to use Chaperone over other slug shotguns. Also, the ability to shut down supers is very nice. Given the speed and agility that most supers provide to their users, this is not a small task. But with a certain degree of skill and maybe a little bit of luck, the potential is there for you to down these supers before they down you. And lastly, the shotgun melee combo is a totally serviceable option for lower skill players trying to get a handle on how slug shotguns work. You're going to miss your crits, probably a lot of them. I miss a lot of them. But as long as you can put a slug on the body of your target when you're close enough to put your fist in their face, Chaperone outputs enough damage for that melee to finish off your target. So hopefully you won't feel quite as helpless when trying to get a handle on these guns. And with just a few drawbacks to touch on, let's head into the cons. Alright, we'll get the two more minor issues out of the way right off the bat. First off, the reload speed is pretty slow, and without any reload enhancements, the reload can get you in some trouble when playing at close range if you're looking to use Chaperone aggressively. If you empty your mag mid-engagement, it does take a little while to throw more shells into the gun, so just have a mental plan B for this situation. Next, the in-air accuracy is serviceable, but not great. And being an exotic, you cannot throw an Icarus grip on it to help you out in this department. Both the high range stat and the aim assist do a pretty good job of helping your slugs stay on target, but there is still some bullet bloom when your boots are off the ground. And the only other thing I want to touch on is the fact that, as I alluded to in the intro, Chaperone and other slug shotguns can be tough to use. And this is speaking mainly to newer or lower skill players. Players. If you're a slug shotgun master, you probably haven't heard anything that you don't know already. But this is just not a very user-friendly shotgun archetype. Chaperone does do a lot to help you with hitting your crits, but it's only helping you do so. It's not going to do it for you. And you really do need a great deal of skill to get these shotguns to perform to their maximum potential. A keen sense of knowing Chaperone's effective range, a strong eye for good crosshair placement, anticipation of enemy player movement, knowing when to push and when to pull back, having a good plan to get yourself out of a tight spot, and having the hand-eye coordination and twitch reflexes to quickly get your sights on the head of a target are all skills that strong slug shotgun users have acquired. And these are skills that aspiring users should probably focus on to become more proficient with this archetype, since simple mistakes at close range with a slug shotgun are punished more often than not. So the verdict, and would I recommend using Chaperone in the Crucible? This is all going to depend on your skill level and how much time you're willing to invest learning the slug shotgun archetype. They are not friendly and they are not forgiving, but they are powerful and they are rewarding. For rumble or comp game modes where so much can ride on a single kill, Chaperone is probably a fantastic option for an adept player. But if you hang in the quick play game modes and play the Crucible more casually and don't have the time or patience to master the fine nuances of slug shotgun, 
I'd probably say that a standard shotgun is going to be the better choice for you. So since you made it to this point in the video, how about leaving it a like if you did enjoy it and consider subscribing to the Ironworker Gaming channel if you have not done so already to see more Destiny 2 reviews, guides, and discussions similar to this one. You could also follow Ironworker814 on Twitch if you'd like to catch me live. I do spend most of my time doing YouTube videos these days, but there's always a chance that I may hop on stream. You could also look for Ironworker814 on Twitter, but the best way to contact me is simply to comment down below. If it is worth your time to comment, it is worth my time to respond to you. And with all that being said, I'd like to thank you for spending a piece of your day checking out this weapon review. You guys are awesome, and I will catch you on the next one.